Hi everyone, Ileana here. Um, today we will be doing um, our mindfulness moment. We'll be um, practicing a grounding meditation. Um, so I'll just give a couple minutes um, for people to join. Hi everyone, hi Zoe. Hello. So you can wave, you can give me a thumbs up if um, you could hear me, if you could see me well. Okay, perfect. Okay, again, my name is Ileana. Um, thank you all so much for joining me today for this live mindfulness moment segment. Um, so starting in April and in May, we started bringing to you these live segments, um, also known as river streams, um, for community engagement, to share news from the river, to share some fun birding activities, some fun nature-based activities. Um, but starting in June, we actually paused um, these programs. Um, after the killing of George Floyd, we wanted to really give space to the messages and the voices that were coming from the black community. Um, we wanted to give space to um, the Black Lives Matter movement and what was going on in the streets. So instead, um, we started sharing resources and news. Um, we posted a letter on our that expressed our solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement and a list of action items um, and about how we are committed to this work of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, you could re read more about this um, on our webpage. We posted our letter there, also on our Instagram page. Um, our, our letter is also posted there, and we are committed to this work um, now and always. And now, starting this week, we are bringing back some of these regular programs, um, starting with today, um, Mindfulness Moment. Tomorrow we are having our live birding at 5.30. Liliana is joining forces with the Audubon Center at Debs Park at 5.30. They'll be going live with the center director there and going out and looking for birds. So tune into that um, tomorrow at 5.30. It'll be a lot of fun. You'll get, you'll get to learn a ton about birds in the area. And so today um, we are having mindfulness moment. Um, I'll take you through a grounding practice, a, pra a way to practice self care. Um, and I was really in um, inspired today um, by Angela Davis. Um, she is a social activist. Um, she's been a social activist her whole life. She's a, an author and a professor, and she often talks about um, self-care and how it's so important to take care of yourself before you go out and um, fight for others. It's, um, it starts on an individual level and then it spreads collectively. Um, and so she often talks about self-care and I would like to share a quote by her that highlights this. Um, so it goes, self-care and healing and attention to the body and the spiritual dimension all of this is now a part of radical social justice struggles. So that is by Angela Davis. I highly recommend you listen to some of her interviews, read her work. She's very, very, very inspiring. Okay, so for today, we are going to um, practice the 54321 grounding technique. So this is a technique that takes you through the five senses and it's a way to remind you um, to be in the present. Um, I know we've all had a very heavy, heavy month, a very heavy year. Um, and it's just so easy these days to feel overwhelmed because everything that's going on right now really amplifies and magnifies what we're feeling inside. So it's so important to step away from the busyness um, happening at work um, the overwhelm coming from the news it's just healthy for us to step away from that um, and take a moment to be still to breathe um, to pay attention to our surroundings and our senses um, and I truly believe in nature as a form of medicine when you're participating and practicing this healing um, work 
and that's why I'm outside in my backyard. You really don't have to go far to be surrounded by nature. You could go to your local park, you could hang out in your backyard, your front yard, or you could even hang out by a plant inside your house, an indoor plant that you take care of. Those bring us joy. Um, being surrounded by nature, just looking at nature, observing a plant, um, release, releases endorphins um, that bring you a sense of relief, bring you some happiness. So. That's why I encourage you to find a comfortable spot, maybe in your backyard or next to an indoor plant, um, and practice this with me, this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. Um, so it's a very quick, quick technique. You don't really need um, to spend much, much time practicing mindfulness. Um, you could practice in a matter of a few minutes. Um, so it goes. I have, there's five steps to it, so I'll give you um, a minute to complete each step. So be ready with your pen or pencil and a piece of paper. So the first step asks you to observe five things. So write down five things you can see. So five things around you and I'll give you a minute to just jot down some words, some ideas, so five things you can see. <laughs> okay, the next step asks you to write down four things you can hear. So take a moment to just sit quietly, write down four things you can hear. next step asks you to write down three things you can feel. Maybe you're outside and you feel a breeze. Maybe you're sitting on a pillow and you feel the softness of the pillow. Maybe you just had a big meal and you feel heavy. Next step asks you to write down two things you can smell. All right, last step asks you to write down one thing you can taste. And that was the last step. So five, four, three, two, one. Five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can feel, two things you can smell, and lastly, one thing you can taste. Um, and this practice really is for all ages. So if you have a kid at home, um, you could practice together. You could go outside or go to a local park and just take some time, a moment to be still and just focus on your surroundings and focus on being present in the moment. So I will read to you what I wrote this morning when I sat outside to do this practice um, for an, an example to get you inspired. Okay, for the first one, five things I was able to see. Cactus, green leaves, yellow leaves, water, and bricks. Four things I heard cars, an airplane, birds, and breathing. Three, three things that I was able to feel. Buzzing, my hunger, I was hungry, um, my eyes. Two things that I was able to smell. Dirt um, and chlorine water. The last thing, one thing I was able to taste was matcha green tea. Okay, so thank you all so much for um, practicing with me. You could do this, you know, any time, any day. You could, I encourage you to step away from your computer, uh, maybe look outside a window and practice this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. Um, and to end this segment, I would like to read to you 
um, a quote by Bell Hooks, also an author, a feminist, a social activist, and a professor. So it goes, the moment we begin to love, we begin to move against domination, against oppression. The moment we choose to love, we begin to move towards freedom, to act in ways that liberate ourselves and others. That action is a testimony of love as a practice of freedom. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for tuning in and see you next time. Bye-bye.